part six. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna jump on the post resource. So today we're gonna create the post model. We're gonna set up its controller for the creation of the post. After that, we're gonna create the basic route to be uh, to make it available for us to work with it in Postman. After that, I'm gonna show you a way to resolve an error I did with Joy. So finally, I just forget one little thing. And that's why Joy didn't work the last time. So we're gonna jump on that. So first thing we're gonna make, it's inside the module folder. Now we're gonna create another folder called post. After that, oh, after that, we're gonna create a file called post.model.js. So that's gonna be the model of the post. So here at the top, like we did with the user, we're gonna import the mongoose library and uh, we're gonna destructure the mongoose schema. After that, we're gonna create the post schema, so a new schema. And at the bottom, we're gonna already import it. So mongoose model, post with uppercase P, post schema. Here, you don't need to always put uppercase P or like I just did here, uh, the first letter uppercase. You can do whatever you want. It just, for me, as a convention, I always put uppercase. So I know when I'm using as a ref, I don't need to care about what I did. So now, what do you want as a post? So I think a post need to have a title. It's gonna be a type of string, it's gonna be trimmed to true. We don't want white space at the end. After that, we want it to be required. Again, we can put uh, a second argument here and say uh, title is required. So that's gonna be the error message coming in from the mongoose. After that, min length. I think uh, you don't have other choice than having at least three characters to get a title. Need to be longer. Oh, sorry, like that. After that, we want it to be unique. Why I want the title to be unique? It's because I'm gonna use slug. What is a slug? A slug is just finally take your title. It's gonna take my title for me, and it's gonna make it all lowercase. And every place where I have a space, it's gonna put a dash. So this is just for uh, go to the app, uh, to go to the page that's gonna be better for a user to go to something like slash hello world and something slash. 5635, you know, the ID. So after that, a post is gonna have a text. Text is gonna be a type of string too. We're gonna trim true at the end just to be sure. After that, require need to be true. So text is require. After that, min length. So that this is the the post uh the post text. So I think 10 character it's <laughs> really small so need to be longer like that and after that this is why we're gonna create a slug so the slug gonna be a type of string I don't gonna make it require because it's not the user who need to 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 add this that's gonna be the job of us in the server you're gonna say in one moment how oh, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna remove the trim and I'm gonna put lowercase true, but I know that's gonna be lowercase. After that, here I'm gonna put the user. So the user is the author. So sorry, I'm gonna remove the notification. The user is the author of the post. So here, some people like to put author, but just because I, I don't like to work with this word in the, the front end, so that's why I keep the user. So we know Mongoose, it's a NoSQL database, a MongoDB, but they make us pretty easy for a NoSQL database to make some kind of relationship. And we can do this by using a type of schema, that type, that object ID. So here, what that means, it's we, uh, we're gonna only save the ID of the user right there, and we can use it for populate. Populate, it's a, a, a method, who uh, gonna help us to get finally the user object when we need. So example, you want to show maybe the username or something like that in the front end for the, the what is the author username, etc. And this that's gonna be the, with this thing here, we can do this. We need to say ref, ref gonna be user. 
this is why I told you I always put uppercase. If you go to my user model, you see at the bottom, I put user right there, uppercase. So this is the same ref. When you ref, this is this name here. After that, I'm going to say favorite con. Con. So favorite con going to be only a number. So it's going to be a type of number. And it's going to be default by zero. So by zero, when I create my uh, post, that's going to be a, a zero from the beginning. And what is favorite con? It's every time a user is going to favorite a post, that's going to be increment by one. If he uh, unfollow, uh, not unfollow, but unfavorite a post, that's going to be uh, the, uh, remove. We're going to remove one from here. And after that, this is something I forget in the user. We're going to add this. It's I want to have a timestamp. So timestamp means we know when the user have been created, uh, when the post have been created and update. So I'm gonna copy paste this line of code right there, and I'm gonna go to my user model and I'm gonna add this thing right here. Como, that's it. You see, this is why I like. I mean, uh, database NoSQL like that. It's it's so much easy to just add stuff in the fly. So what we're gonna do here? This is the place where we're gonna uh, do we're gonna finally uh, add the slugify method so post key, post schema method like we did on the user here I'm gonna say slugify so I want to slug my post so this function here gonna need one thing we're gonna need to add an, a library called slug so npm install or yarn add slug when it's done we just need to go at the top we're gonna import slug from slug and now remember a methods i have access to the this and this is the post itself so here i'm gonna say this that slug so when i say that is the slug right there gonna be equal to slug and i'm gonna say this that title so what i say it's this that slug gonna now be equal to the slug of my title. So I'm going to take the title and I'm going to put it lowercase with a dash for the, the space. But how do I'm going to call this method here? So we're going to again use the pre hook method. But this time that's going to be validate. So when the, the, the post being validate, when the post being validate, we're going to just finally add the slug so right there what we can do it's this that underscore slugify and at the end i'm gonna say next that's it nothing more to do so when the pose is being validated we just slugify the title perfect so now we are able to create a pose but i want to add some other stuff for the one who have already used with mongodb you know when uh, something it's unique and you add another stuff with this uh, uh, same name example for the title example, we're gonna receive a, a weird error called like duplicate key of collection, etc. And this is really hard because when you say unique, we cannot do something like unique and put uh, like something here. We cannot do this. So what we have access, it's a library we can install called Mongoose yarn add sorry mongoose unique validator this little library gonna give us access to make the message we want so unique validator from mongoose unique validator now what we can do it's right there i'm gonna say post schema dot plugin so i can add a plugin I'm going to put unique validator. This one take a, a second argument the plugin, and that's going to be what we want to do with that. And that's going to be a message. And I'm going to say inside quotes value. So if you remember, in the, uh, I think that was in the uh, part three, I show you value going to be equal to the, the value, I mean, the, the, the thing will make the stuff happening. So if that was the title unique, that's going to be the title here already taken so here i just create finally a message saying my post uh, if the title it's uh, i've been used and you create a new 
pose with this title. I'm going to say your title. It's already taken. That's it. So we can use it for the user schema too. We go there. We're going to change it to be user schema. I'm going to go back to my post model. I'm going to copy paste this unique validator right there. That's it. Nothing more to do. And why do I want this stuff in the user? Email. Unique true right there. Perfect. So now we have created the pose, uh, the model, etc. So now time to create the controller. So we're going to create pose that controller that GS. So in this one, today the only thing I want is to be able to create a pose. So we're going to take the pose schema, so the pose mo uh, model. After that, we're going to export an async function called create post. We're going to take again the rec and the rest, so request and response. Gonna add a try catch here. Gonna do the uh, error first. So res that status for Andrian to be bad request that JSON, and I'm gonna send the error inside my try. I'm gonna do cons post equal await post that, and now this is the 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 thing we want to add an author. I mean, we want to add uh, the author of. Uh, the pose we can do this in two methods I can do the create here and do inside curly bracket I can do rec that body and here I can do like uh, my author so I can do user equal rec that user that underscore ID because of uh, passport remember this route gonna be with the required GWT so we're gonna have access to rec that user that underscore ID because we're gonna get it from the GWT token. I can do this this way. So I wait, post, create. So here, what I say it's I say take all the stuff I got from my body. Don't worry, we're gonna make the validation with joy, and just say finally we just make one big object with this thing here. So we don't do because if I just put rec that body, that's gonna be an object inside an object. This way, I spread. I've spread everything inside my address. So I can do this way with post that create. Or what we can do too, it's I can jump inside my post that model. And it, right here, I can create now in after method, I'm gonna create a post schema that statics. And here and right there, I can say create post. And create post gonna take the argument and the user and gonna return this because this means the post schema now. And I'm gonna say uh, finally this that create and I'm gonna do the job right there. Args and I'm gonna say user. This way, that's it. And after that, what I can do it's came here, remove the curly bracket. So I'm gonna just remove everything for now. I'm gonna say create post. So this is my static method I just create here, create post. And now I can say here rec that body. And now I can say in the second argument, rec that user that underscore ID. It's not a big change, but this way, I mean, I don't know why, but I like more this method. This is just I use it, I use a lot of static method because I like to just change the way of this is created by myself. So but I mean, this is that do the same job, so go with whatever you want here. And I'm gonna return a res that status here 201, so this is for create that JSON, and I'm gonna send my post. Perfect. Time to create the round if you want to use it. So we're gonna create the round, it's gonna be really simple. At the top, we're gonna import router from Express. After that, I'm gonna import everything as a post controller if I don't make a typo from post controller I'm gonna import my out GWT uh, L power function my middleware sorry coming from my service and out service after that I'm gonna create an instance of my route after that I'm gonna make route that post slash post we're gonna put the a out gwt and we're gonna say post controller that create post that's it 
export default route. Nothing more to do. After that, after that, I'm gonna jump on my uh, index of the route. I'm gonna just delete this app get hello. Don't need this thing. I'm gonna remove that, and here I'm gonna do post route from post that user route, and I'm gonna do app that use slash api slash v1 slash post and i'm gonna put my post route so now if everything is still working so i'm gonna go and see nothing is break perfect now i can jump in postman and i'm gonna call my um, post method so here i've created already the post method inside my savings so this is http local 3000 api v1 post that's it this is a post method First thing we need is we need to log in because if I send that right now, I get unit arrives. This is what we want. That means the old GWT is still working. So here I'm gonna uh, log in. So I have already my stuff. I'm gonna log, perfect. Now I get access to my GWT. I'm gonna take my GWT. I'm gonna go to the headers and I'm gonna say authorization and I'm gonna put the value. Right now, if I send like this, I get a 400 that request because what happened it's have nobody have nothing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go there i'm going to say title this is title one and i'm going to say text this says text one and now if i send i get a 201 create and now as you can see i have my so this is my time stem right there i have my slug so my slug take this title here and they just uh, make with dash like I told you and I have my user now and I have the ID of the post and the favorite count is zero by default So now if I jump to my robo mongo And I refresh Now you're gonna see my uh, I have it inside my DB. So everything is working right now But now the thing is now if I send like this title, it's uh, if I send that again, this is my new message I told you this is this is title one already taken. So this is the message we create right inside the post model when we see that I already taken. So this is the thing. Now, if I don't send a title, I'm gonna just receive a bad request, and this is not what I want. So what I want to do it's using Joy to make a validation, and because now I can just send everything in. This is not what we want. So inside post, I'm gonna create a post that validation the GS. Here at the top, I'm gonna import joy from joy. And here I'm gonna export default an object. Here I'm gonna say create post, so the name of my controller finally. And now this is why I, what I forget last time. I need to put body for so because now I'm thinking about this, so we're gonna make it. It just here. Take the email, password, first name, and everything inside the user validation and put body. That's it. This is what we missed last time. So now inside body, now I can say title need to be a joy that string. Oh, not string, but string. I want it to have a minimum of three character, and this is required. I'm gonna just do command shift D to copy paste this line below. I'm gonna change it to be text. I'm gonna say minimum to be uh, 10. After that, now the only thing I still need to do is if I go to my round, at the top, I'm gonna import the, the valid express validation who help us to make validation inside the middleware. After that, here I'm gonna import my post validation from my post validation file. Oh. And now the only thing I need to do is after it's uh, after the authentication, I can do validate post validation that create post. So now nothing is break, perfect. So now I can jump back to Postman. And now, if I send that, what I got it's the message. This is what we want finally, but don't worry, we're gonna change it. But finally, it's just a message saying like title is required, as you can see. So for now, this is what we have as, a, as the message, but. This is something we're gonna change. No worry about that. So now, finally, we are able to create a post, and the post it's below 
the uh, a user so that's why now when we look at the RoboMongo the user it's right there and this is an object ID and this is the same ID of the user right there so uh, BBE29 BBE29 so and remember how I get that I get that because of the out GWT that's that's why I got uh, able to make it because remember inside the GWT I have access to the ID and here the only thing I need to show you for, at, for the end something called prettier it's awesome you can add this it's really easy on Atom Sublime Visual Studio Code for the Visual Studio Code you just need to install prettier and I think it's ESLint yeah prettier ESLint after that they're gonna tell you how you can add command inside the Visual Studio Code so you can add like prettier I want all my single quotes to be true my width of my screen gonna be 80 tweeting my space and everything and after that what I can do it's here I I'm below the I'm more than 80 width so now if I run my command uh, shift alt f you see now now they make me they make that for me so now if I do again so this way it's just better I think I'm gonna show you another way to make it like every time you're gonna commit that's gonna be banked automatically so that's gonna be inside other episode so for the next one what we're gonna do it's we're gonna make uh, available to uh, delete uh, not delete but read uh, a post so read one and read all so I hope you enjoy please let me know how you uh, you feel about this video and hope you enjoy it and uh, please like if you like this thing and we talk later have a good day bye